Hello and welcome to another edition of James Chris Science Videos where today we're going to be looking at energy efficiency and we're going to be looking at Sankey diagrams which is a way of representing efficiency of devices. I'm also going to talk you through how to do some calculations that are needed probably for your exams. Now to start this lesson we're going to go back to the previous video and the previous video I showed you an energy transfer um, in a device and the device that I've got here as example is a candle. Just to remind you, a device is something that converts one form of energy into another. So in this case, my candle is converting my chemical energy into my light and heat. And we decided last lesson that one of those would be useful and one of those would be wasted. In the form of a candle, light energy is why we light candles. The heat energy is a wasted energy. So we would need to be able to decide that. Now, just to check that you know exactly how to do that, I've put here a little sheet for you to fill out on the table. All you've got to do for this is to put in for each of them the input energy. So for my candle, the input energy would have been the chemical. And then decide a useful energy that comes out and a wasted energy. So for my candle example, we had chemical going in, light was my useful energy and heat was my wasted energy. And so all you've got to do now is just fill in um, the input useful and waste for each of those. Food mixer, hairdryer, gas tap and table lamp. And finally, car engine. So now you've done that, let's have a closer look at what's happening inside here. And we're going to start putting some values on the energy that's there. So in this candle, these are just made up numbers. Let's say my candle wax that's being burnt has an initial energy store of 70 joules. And when I heat, when I set fire to it and it releases the energy, it releases, and this is just a random numbers, but 25 joules in light energy and 45 joules in heat. You can see it releases more heat than it does light. So we can use those numbers to work out the efficiency of this device. And we do that using this equation. Efficiency will equal the useful energy divided by the total energy, which should be the input energy. So... In this case, my useful energy was 25 joules and my total energy was 70. So if I did this as a calculation, I get 0 0.36. Now, you should never get anything above 1 because the total energy should always be greater than the energy that's split. If I want to turn that to percentage, all I need to do to turn that decimal into percentage is times it by 100. And so you can see the candle in this example, is 36% efficient. Now, here's a quick question, just to get you to see if you can work this out. And again, I've used the very easy numbers. The filament bulb, bulb is supplied with 100 joules of electrical energy, which converts 45 joules of light energy. So you can now work out how much energy is wasted. So you've got the 45 joules that's useful. The rest will be wasted out of the 100. You can decide on which form that will be. And then you can use that equation to work out the efficiency of that light bulb. So that's fairly easy to do. Now, sometimes numbers are not easy just to look at something and so make a decision whether you want to buy or use a device. And we want to use all the time the most efficient devices we can. So there is a system for drawing energy um, outputs that shows us how much is used and how much is wasted. And these are called Sankey diagrams. So here we've got um, a quick diagram of a light bulb where we've got the electricity that goes in and the size of that bar will indicate how much energy goes in. So there's a, there's a larger amount of energy, that initial bar will be bigger. And you can see here it splits into the two forms of energy, the thermal or heat energy which comes out, that's the wasted energy, and then we've got the light energy that comes out at the front. And that percentage... Again, the bigger the light energy bar is, the more efficient the device is. Now, you may have seen them as this. These are energy efficiency labels. Um, I don't know I've chosen a Russian one. No, it's a Greek one. I should know my Greek alphabet. There you go. It's a Greek one. And the way that this works is that each letter corresponds to a percentage efficiency. A++ is over 95% efficient. A++ plus is 90 Um a is, I think, 85, and so on. You get down to, you can go all the way down to G. G is 0 to 20% efficient. And so, obviously, the more efficient your device is, the more energy 
that is converted into what you want it to be converted for, the less money you'll pay for your electricity bill, the better it is for the environment, and the better your device will be. So you can look on the side of devices when you buy them now and you can see these energy ratings here. Right, let's wrap this up. We're going to do a summary in a second, but first of all, here are some more questions. There's a table. So I'll help with the first one. So we've got a light bulb. We've got the input energy of 60. We've got the useful energy of 12. And we've got the energy wasted, which is 48 joules. And it asks you to fill in the box. So you've got to fill out each of those boxes. So to work this out, the efficiency equals the useful energy, that's 12, divided by the energy input, the total energy, that's 60. So you did 12 divided by 60, and then you times it by 100 to make it a percent, and that will give your efficiency. So you can quickly write down that table and fill out the different numbers. That would be a useful exercise to do. So let's summarise. Energy efficiency is something we can use to judge a device and we can use that to work out how much useful energy is produced for that device when compared with the energy input. The equation for working out efficiency is you take the useful energy and you divide it by the total, times it by 100 to give you a percentage. We can demonstrate those and show those um, efficiencies by using Sankey diagrams. Brilliant. Um, thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.